हेलो वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला दिस मॉड्यूल विल डिस्कस अबाउट न्यू मीडिया एंड इश्यूज ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड एम्पावरमेंट इश्यूज ऑफ एम्पावरमेंट एंड स्पेशली issues related to human empowerment the objective of this module will enable you to discuss empowerment to establish the issues of women empowerment to determine how new media takes up the issues of women empowerment and to ascertain the issues of empower women empowerment taken up by new media friends you must have recently watched the small video documentary made by malala yusufzai the nobel peace recipient who survived after an attack on her life by the taliban and henceforth dedicated her whole life for the education of girls throughout the world the video's name was he named me malala what does this video signify what does this video tell us what does this video inform us what does this video educate us it firstly educate us about the grit and the gumption through which that little lady was able to stand before the tyrants and the militant taliban and henceforth raise the level of her life to an extraordinary level also the video was viral throughout the internet through facebook twitter and youtube this also implies that with the help of social media within flash of seconds we can cover any issue that is uploaded on the same now we will talk about empowerment the video shown above raises certain questions in our minds statements such as i am those 66 million girls who deprived of who are deprived of education i am not a lone voice i am many and our voices are our most powerful weapons what do these sentences said by malala in the video imply do they carry a kind of sociological connotation there could be numerous terms to describe malala's self strength self power self reliance capable of fighting for one's fight or for one's rights to mention only a few can you find a single word that could replace the terms mentioned earlier empowerment seems to be the appropriate term that makes malala a ray of hope for millions of girls and women the term empowerment is heard in every walk of life we hear stories of empowerment of women empowerment of differently abled empowerment of backward community etc this term is widely discussed in academia sports politics media legal circles etc it is everywhere what is so special about this term empowerment what does this it suggest to us stop for a moment and think what is empowerment for you does the term power in empowerment makes empowerment a special word for you or is there something more attached to it what makes you empowered does an iphone makes you empowered do you do getting good marks in exams make you feel empowered write whatever comes to your mind in 10 sentences you can write a blog on what is empowerment for you you can tweet your experience and feeling or can make a video or animation on what makes you feel empowered now the definition of empowerment empowerment implies different meaning to different people depending upon their socio cultural and political milieu for example for a village getting for the first time its mla a ministerial post will make the whole village feel empowered but for our cities like delhi or mumbai it's pretty normal affair empowerment literally means give power to or to invest with power to quote 
Andhra Bithil. Empowerment is about social transformation, radical social transformation, and it is about the people, common people, rather than politicians, experts, and other socially or culturally advantaged persons. He further adds that the idea of empowerment can be invoked in virtually any context. And is speaking about human rights, about basic needs, about economic security, about capacity building, about skill formation, or about the conditions of a dignified social existence. Niralul Nisarul Haq considered the term empowerment as a synonym for participation, for speaking out, or for meeting some need. His notion of empowerment is more of power to rather than power over. Hence, empowerment is a process of gaining understanding of and control over the political forces as a means of improving one's stand in society. Since half of the total population of India is female and sex ratio is declining further, that is 940 females on average on 1000 males in the country, therefore empowerment of women needs utmost attention. Let us discuss the issue of empo women empowerment in detail. Did you know on March 9, 2010, one day after the International Women's Day, Rajya Sabha passed the Women's Reservation Bill, ensuring 33% reservation to women in Parliament and State Legislative Assemblies. Empowerment of Women Gupta and Yesodian find the definition of empowerment given by, by Bhatliwala to be the most comprehensive and apt. Bhatliwala explains the empowerment of women as the process and the outcome of the process by which women gain greater control over material and intellectual resources and challenge the ideology of the patriarchy and the gender-based discrimination against women in all the institutions and structures of the society. Now, history of empowerment. Concept of empowerment can be traced back as early as the Protestant Reformation in Europe and it has been echoing through the centuries in Europe and North Africa through Quakerism, Jeffersonian democracy, early capitalism and the black power movement. But the term acquired a strongly political meaning in the latter half of the 20th century and it was adopted by the movements to bring democratic social change in the society. Did you know the constitution of India guarantees to all Indian women equality, Article 14, no discrimination by the state, Article 15, 1. Equality of opportunity, Article 16, and equal pay for equal work, Article 39D. Importance and relevance of empowerment of women. Indian society has been both valorized and devalorized women. If on one hand we show our reverence towards women by saying, where women are worshipped, there the God resides, we insult them. On the other hand, by announcing Dhol, Gawar, Shudra, Pasu, Nari, Ye Sab Taadan Ke Adhikari. Mean, drum, rock, salve, slave, animal, and women, they deserve beating and condemnation. According to Gupta and Yesodian, enhancing women's status and their empowerment can play a decisive role in the success of many development programs and bring about positive social changes. Critics of Women Empowerment United Nations has broadly classified five characteristics of women empowerment. Women's sense of self-worth, women's right to determine choices about their lives, women's right to have access to opportunities and resources, women's right to have the power to control their own lives, both within and outside the home, women's ability to influence the direction of social change to create a more just social and economic order. The above components have been further clubbed in the following three categories of empowerment which shows the present status of women in India. Economic Empowerment Economic Empowerment seeks to ensure that women have the appropriate skills, capabilities, resources and access to secure and sustainable incomes and livelihoods. Going by the statistics of the Government of India, there seems to be a considerable disparity between economic conditions of males and females. As per Census 2011, the workforce participation rate for females at the national level stands at 25.51% compared with the 35 with the 53.26% for males. In the rural sector, females have a workforce participation rate of 30.02% compared with 53.03% for males. In the urban sector, it is 15.44% for females and 53.76% for males.
In the rural sector, 59.3% females were self-employed, 5.6% females had regular wage salaried employment, and 35.1% females were at casual laborers compared with 454.5%, 10%, and 35.5% males in the same categories, respectively, in 2011-12. It shows that despite more number of women being self-employed in the rural sector, the percentage of regular wages or salaried men is almost double to that of women, showing weak economic conditions of women in the society. A total of 20.5% of women were employed in the organized sector in 2011, with 18. 1% working in the public sector and 243 in the private. The female share of the total central government employment is stood at 10% in 2009. This shows a huge disparity between the shares of women being employed in central government and that of males. To fill the gap, there is a demand that government changes jobless growth to job market-oriented growth for the educated, the skilled and the semi-skilled workforce of India. Social empowerment against violence. Women in India continue to suffer violence, public and private, physical and emotional, and sexual and asexual in nature. Domestic violence against women continues to be unabated. Cruelty by husbands and relatives continues to occupy the highest share, 43.6% among the crimes committed against women in 2012, followed by assault on women with intent to outrage her modesty, 18.6%, as much as 15.7% cases were that of kidnapping and abduction, 10.2% of rape, 3.8% of insult to the modesty of women, and 3.7% of dowry prohibition act. According, however, to protect women from sexual violence, a new and stringent law was passed by the Indian Parliament in 2013. Education. In the last decade, media exposure has increased awareness about education among Indian women. However, there is still a long way to go. As per census 2011, 74% of the population is literate, comprising 65.5% females and 82.1% males. Out of 65.5% literate women, percentage of rural women is 57.93%, while that of urban women is 79.11%. The increase, mental in, the incremental increase over census 2001 of 11.8% for females is higher than 6.8% for males, but it's still the education that could get job and education that would make oneself self-reliant is a distant dream for most of the women, especially those living in their rural areas. The stereotype patriarchal shekels that do not let girls or women get educated still acts as a major impediment for them in order to get a good education. Do you know that the average nutritional intake of women in India is 1400 calories daily. The necessary requirement is approximately 2200 calories. That means 800 calories deficit is there. And that is phenomenal and enormous. Political empowerment. Late 90s saw the change of language of empowerment from economical to political. Growth of mainstream and new media enabled women to become more aware and demanding about their rights. According to Gupta and Yasudian, women who are exposed to media than those who are not have high household autonomy, high freedom of movement, a more positive attitude towards gender equality, and they do not subscribe to domestic violence. After the enactment of 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act, provision of ensuring one third of the total seats for women in all elected offices in local bodies, whether in rural or urban areas, demand of political power among women folks in India gained momentum. Today, we have more than 40% of women as panchayat members and about 42% as Jila Parishad members. The following, there is a picture that shows the women politicians, namely Brinda Karad, Nazma Abdullah, and Sushma Swaraj. Women occupy only 9% of the parliamentary seats, less than 4% seats in high courts and Supreme Court, and less than 3% administrators and managers are women. New media. Many of you must be using WhatsApp messaging service on your mobile phone. Many you would be many would be busy tweeting or updating your status message on FB, Facebook. What is this WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook? There are definitely new forms of media, unlike television or radio. What is this new form of media or new media, and how is it different from mainstream media? Why is this new media so important these days that everyone is busy updating their, herself or himself to get acquainted with this new form of communication? Lev Monovic describes new media as new cultural forms which are native to computers or rely on computers for distribution. Websites, human computer interface, virtual worlds, VR, multimedia, computer games, computer animation, and digital video, special effects in cinema and Netflix, interactive computer installations.
what are the characteristics of new media as said earlier new media is an interactive platform whose users are globally distributed the characteristics of new media are as follows it is interactive it has a horizontal networks of communication and it is mass self communication self generated self generated in co content self directed in emission and self selected in reception importance of new media in present context india is world's third largest user of internet and has highest yearly growth in usage of the same also with more than 143 million users of social media a major constituent of the new media has become not only a source of fast communication but a platform of giving voice to voiceless thus making individual groups communities and societies at large empowered new media has the power to let an incidents get attention of millions of people worldwide for example brutal brutal gang rape of a girl in delhi on 16 december 2012 captured attention of public not only in india but worldwide Hashtag trends like Delhi gang rape, hashtag Amanet, hashtag I am Hayat swelled Twitter. Social media in this case revealed new spaces of storytelling and a new participatory culture of network online conversations. What are the popular forms of new media? Twitter. Founded in 2006, Twitter is often understood as a derivative or miniature version of the regular blog that is a microblog. It could be said that a microblog is a platform in which users share short messages linked to other websites, images or videos. Normally, a message on a microblog is written by one person, may represent an organization, or read by a number ranging from zero to hundreds of thousands of people, which in this context are called followers. Did you know 44% of users on Twitter have never sent a tweet? Interesting. Facebook. Founded in 2004, Facebook is a social networking website intended to connect friends, family, and business associates. It is the largest of the networking sites. YouTube. YouTube is a video sharing website which allows users to upload, view and share videos. It came into existence in 2005. WhatsApp Messenger is a cross-platform mobile messaging app which allows you to exchange messages without having to pay for SMS. It is mostly used on sharp smartphones. Now, what is the difference between mainstream media and new media? As explained earlier, new media has the power to disseminate messages within seconds to millions. Let us see the difference between, between the two kinds of media. According to Alfred Hermida, digital media technologies such as Twitter facilitate the instant online dissemination and reception of short fragments of information from sources outside the formal structures of journalism. The attributes of social media, participation, openness, conversation, community and connectivity at are largely at odds with the one-way asymmetric model of communication that characterized media in the 20th century. Brian E. Weeks and R. Lance Holbert explicitly discuss about social media's advantage over traditional media by claiming that the traditional mass communication experience is a one-way, top-down, center-driven, time-specific activity. News seekers are more are mere consumers who receive only the information provided by news organizations, have little choice over content, and for the most part consume content at a time that is predetermined. New media and issues of women empowerment. We have discussed earlier that what is empowerment, women empowerment, issues of women empowerment, new media and how is it relevant today. Now we have to see whether or not new media is a medium which is in addition to entertainment and information take issues that can bring change in one's life and can, can act as a model for others to follow. Following case studies will highlight the issues of women empowerment taken up by the new media. The statistics show that more than 84% of the internet users in, in India watch online video content. Therefore, owing to the statistics, only those case studies have been taken that have an online video presence. New Media Voice of the Voiceless Case Study 1 The video My Choice is part of the Vogue India's social awareness initiative Vogue Empower. The video is cast by 99 women from different walks of life with respective career, key cast being Deepika Padukone, a celebrated Bollywood actor. Within a short span of time, it's from its release, the video was seen by over 1 million people. The video is about freedom of women, freedom from social taboos, gender equality. Deepika in her voice conveys the message of modern women who decline all sorts of rules and bondages put on women by men. Monologue like, the bindi on my forehead, the ring on my finger, adding your surname to mine, they are all ornaments and kind be replaced. Shows that the modern women no longer wants to follow the typical stereotype norms of patriarchal society to put husband's surname after her name, to place a bindi or forehead or just temporary things. And whenever wife wishes, she can get rid of these things. 
The video is about absolute emancipation of women in the society. However, the video is more about urban women because only three or four women out of 99 featured are seen wearing dresses of rural places of India. Case study two. After My Garden Grows is a short documentary about Monica, one of 40,000 rural Indian girls participating in the girls project, a partnership between the government of West Bengal and Lendesa. She stills a small plot of land to feed her family and plants seeds of independence and financial freedom to her male-dominated community. She refuses to marry before 18. The video shows an interesting discussion where some of the girls share their experience of the family pressure they have to face to marry early. Some of the mature ladies ask the girls to refuse their parents and wish to marry them at an early age and persuade them to the first stand and their feet and then marry at the right age. This is uncommon in Indian society where the old ladies themselves ask girls to marry at an early age. This story highlights the struggle of rural girls in order to avoid early marriage. The video received 25,284 views within few weeks from its release. Case study 3. The video. India, Jivika empowers women in rural Bihar through new livelihoods, is about empowerment and rural women of Bihar. Jivika, a World Bank supported rural livelihood programs, is working towards building a better Bihar by empowering poor rural women and raising their incomes through self-help groups. Bringing the women together the program encourages them to save, borrow, and repay small loans to set up new businesses that benefit them. The story is about rural women of both Gaya Bihar. Due to immense poverty, rural women were not able to save any money for the family. They failed to have sufficient food, but with Jivika program, they are now able to save money for their children's education. The program has created a virtuous cycle which has increased the status of women, reducing poverty and corruption while increasing prosperity. The video was seen by more than 2,000 people within days from the date of its release. Case Study 4, a short documentary made for Nari Uthan Sansthan, a non-profit organization based in Rajasthan, which works on the belief that a fair and flourishing society is only possible when you empower its women by tackling the root causes that continue to keep them uneducated, exploited and vulnerable. The president of the organization, Umar Ratnu, is working hard to empower the rural women. Her vision and commitment towards empowerment and women of women has earned a good reputation for the organization in Rajasthan. The project now runs in Jaipur, Alwar and Sikha districts of Rajasthan. To empower the women financially, they are trained into various vocational activities that include making of art and craft items like handcrafted dolls. These items are then sold into the market to increase their household income. Projects like the Delhi project have enabled the rural women to earn 15 to 20,000 rupees per month. Lack of toilets in houses compelled women to go out. So, Nari Thaan Sansthan decided to build toilets for women in the villages. Projects like Adult Literacy Project are helping women to get literate. The video received 528 views. Now, the limitations of new media. Usage of new media is growing exponentially at a rate of 14%, but still the amount of penetration in terms of percentage of population of India that uses internet is just 19%, which is very low considering the huge and diverse population of India. New media is still an urban phenomena and requires skills. Rural or less educated women find it hard to use the internet in contrast to television or radio which does not require skill to see or hear respectively. Internet connectivity and speed is also on the rise. In remote villages and town infrastructure and the speed which could facilitate smooth running of internet is missing. The viewership in earlier mentioned case studies show that when a celebrity is protagonist in a video, it gets a viewership up to 1 million. Whereas videos based on common people get viewership in thousands. This contradicts the notion that new media is a platform where voice of voiceless are heard. Now, we will go for the summary. Going through the different sections of the module, we experienced that be it the women like Deepika Padukone, who is a prolific and high-profile Bollywood actor or Malala Yousafzai or stories of rural women. One thing is clear, in Indian society, women needs to be empowered. They are not empowered. Even at the top, they are dealt with competitions, they are dealt with harassment, to quote unquote sexual harassment, how can they be empowered? What tools or what 
appliances can help them to feel empowered new media is that tool that could give voice to the voiceless we see that today we are using internet on smartphones the whole world is on our in our hands can't we use it for the betterment of women betterment of our wives betterment of our mothers betterment of our sisters yes we can do it and give voice to the voiceless thank you